Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Ubuntu version 23.04 on VirtualBox. For those that don't know VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer. So I can run Windows, Linux, Mac OS on the same PC. Now the first thing we have to do is download and install VirtualBox. So head to your Chrome browser. And then search for VirtualBox. And you will see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox. Click on it. Okay, by the left over here, click on Downloads. And then click on Windows host to download VirtualBox for Windows. Now the installation process is actually easy just like every other software. But if you find it difficult to install, then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox. Now the next thing we have to download is Ubuntu 23.04 ISO file. So let's search for download Ubuntu. And you can see the first page over here which heads to ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop. Now click on it. Now the links will be provided in the video description so you can just go there directly and then download. Now scroll down and you can see Ubuntu 23.04 which is the latest version of Ubuntu OS. Now click on download over here and it should start downloading the size is about 4.5 gigabytes 4.6 gigabyte actually so you know what to expect i already have this downloaded so i'm just going to cancel it now we can close our chrome browser and then open our download folder and you can see this is ubuntu 23.04 desktop amd64 which we just downloaded now open virtual box and then let's create a new virtual machine so click on new so let's set the name to ubuntu 23.04 now you can change the name to whatever you want it doesn't really matter now after setting the name set the type to linux and then set the version to ubuntu 64 bit make sure that it's set and then next now this is the base memory which is the ram you can increase to whatever you want I'm going to give this 5.5 GB of RAM since I have 16 GB on my PC. Now you shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine, else it will slow down your host computer. So I'm giving it 5.5 GB, 5 GB of RAM, so I'm just going to give it 3 CPU cores out of it and then next. Now we are going to create a virtual hard disk now, so set the disk size. The requirement is at least 25 GB, but I'm going to give it 63 gigabytes so my machine runs well now click on next and you can see the changes we've made over here click on finish now we've created a new machine called ubuntu 23.04 now we have to make few changes here so click on settings up here and then this is the name you can change whenever we want click on system this is the base memory which is the ram you can change whenever you want processor over here you can change whenever you want as well now click on display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes also enable 3d acceleration and then go to storage under controller ide click on the empty disk icon and then by the right click on the disk icon again and then click on choose a disk file now select our iso file which we downloaded earlier for ubuntu 23.04 and then click on open click on ok and we can start the installation once we click on start now you can see try or install ubuntu ubuntu save graphics test memory so we're going to hit enter to try or install ubuntu Now we can start the setup, so select your language and next, install Ubuntu, next, set the keyboard layout as well, next, use wired connection, so this way we are sharing network from our host PC, now you can make changes to this later after the installation if you want, next, 
normal installation next erase disks and install ubuntu yes next this is the disk which we allocated it is going to create a partition these are the partitions it is going to create install now set your time zone so i'm just going to click on my area and then next enter a name enter a username and a password And then tick this section if you want to log in with your password that is actually the reason why we are creating a password and then next i prefer the dark mode so let's go with dark you can change this later if you want next and it should start installing now this will take roughly 30 minutes depending on your pc hardware but you just have to wait patiently Okay, so this took about 15 minutes, which is actually not much. Now let's click on restart now. Now just hit enter and it should boot. The installation media has been removed automatically. Now click on your user profile and then log in with your password, which we created earlier. And here we go, Ubuntu 23.04 Lunar Lobster has been successfully installed. Now you can access everything from here, do whatever you want to do. The desktop environment here is GNOME which is the default desktop environment and this actually looks good. You can connect your accounts and start using this machine. Now if you notice the resolution isn't really adjusting to my PC resolution and this may be the same with you so what you do is go to display settings right click and go to display settings now we can change the resolution here to match with your pc resolution so just find out your pc resolution and then switch it here so i'm just gonna apply that is my pc resolution keep changes view and then full screen mode and here we go if this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.